What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Check this out. This is me about a year or so ago when I first got the Evercade VS. In fact, this is my first unboxing video on this channel. So has anything changed when it comes to the Evercade? Well, I think a lot has changed in the Evercade community. And let me get into this. I've been a part of the Evercade community for a little over a year now. Yeah, I showed up a bit late to the party, but I'm glad I found it. What really grabbed my attention and pulled me in were the purple cards. These cards are loaded with multiple licensed arcade games. This was huge selling point for me. I'm an arcade fanatic. It's where I spent a lot of my time in my preteen and early to mid-teen years. Evercade also offers blue and red color-coded carts. The blue carts are packed with home computer games from the Amiga to the C64, while the red carts are loaded with games from various consoles. The red carts also include various indie game collections. It's really cool that Blaze gives these smaller companies a platform to get their games out there. Since I still own pretty much every game and console I've bought since 1982, the purple carts were my main interest. Though I have found numerous games on the red carts that I've either forgotten about or never heard of, it's always fun experiencing an older game for the first time. I was all in on Evercade from the get-go. I purchased the EXP in less than a week after purchasing this VS. I also showed support by purchasing both Super Pockets from their sister company, Hyper Megatech. I also ended up utilizing my VS for the sole purpose I purchased it for. It now powers an arcade cabinet I built. Now I can play those purple arcade carts the way they're meant to be played. Originally, I was planning on purchasing every cartridge Evercade put out or already had out. However, that changed when I purchased the Codemasters collection. By far the worst cartridge I own in my opinion. This made me realize that I wasn't going to spend money on carts I'll probably never play again. When I started this channel just over a year ago, I always said I'd be 100% honest about everything I talk about, whether it's a game, console, or a handheld review, a gaming news story, anything. I'll always be honest and give my honest opinions on things. When honesty is spoken, that's when the butt hurt begins for the people who think Blaze can do no wrong, that no car on the Evercade is bad. Basically, if I criticize Evercade in any way, I must not like them. Which is the furthest thing from the truth. This has rarely happened on this channel, to be honest. However, I've seen it on other people's channels, and it has happened to me personally in two private Evercade discussion groups on Facebook. In fact, I was kicked out of both because I gave my honest opinion on a matter that didn't line up with the administrator's views. The issue I brought up on one of the pages was the fact that many of the cases to the carts won't stay shut. I added, Blaze needs better quality control. Apparently the page administrator thought that meant that I hate Blaze. He did respond though with, if you're going to down talk a product that we all love here, you should probably leave. Then I was booted. I'm really not sure how what I said makes me hate Evercade. I was simply voicing a concern. The other page booted me for not giving the Interplay 1 and 2 collections praise. They absolutely loved every comment I made when I was commenting about the Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remasters and how good they are, but lost their shit when I said the Interplay collections are subpar. Booted for not liking the same games. How crazy is that? Just because I don't like a particular game or game style, I would never expect everyone else not to like it too. 
and I certainly wouldn't shun someone for having a different gaming preference. Life would be boring if we all liked the same things. I embrace diversity and differences in everything. Which brings me to this. Is the Evercade community developing fanboys? It's certainly starting to feel like that. The minute you criticize a cart, a certain game, a certain feature, or anything else to do with Evercade, you're automatically labeled a hater. I'm really hoping this fanboyism doesn't escalate to the levels of the Pokemon and Zelda lovers. Talk about batshit crazy. I thought these fanboys were coming after me with torches and pitchforks just because I say I'm not a fan of either series and I think Link is an absolutely horrible main character. It's not like I said they were dumb for liking those games, but that's what they hear when I say I don't like those games. Seriously, people need to relax. We all like different things. There's no need to hate just because they don't like the same game or gaming character as you. That's just stupid and childish. It's also okay to be critical of a company. It doesn't mean you hate it. I love Blaze, but you can bet your ass that I will speak up if there's something I don't like or agree with. And for fuck's sake, if a game sucks, don't beat around the bush about it. Just say it fucking sucks. And when I say a game sucks, but you happen to like the game, that doesn't mean I said you suck. So in conclusion, be vocal, be critical, give credit to the good, call out the bad, expect better, and let me know if you think fanboyism is invading the Evercade community, because man, it's really starting to feel that way. So hey, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me rant. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, game on, everybody.